नमस्ते टू एवरी वन आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन माई यूट्यूब वीडियो चैनल टूडे आई विल डेल यू आर लेक्चर ऑन कॉम्प्लेक्स एनालिसिस लेक्चर नंबर इलेवन इन हुईच सम मोर प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ एनालिटिक फंक्शन विल बी डिस्कस्ड नाउ वी सॉल्व ए प्रॉब्लम सो दैट द फंक्शन यू एक्स वाई इक्वल टू ई टू दी पावर एक्स कॉज वाई इज हार्मोनिक फाइंड द करस्पॉन्डिंग एनालिटिक फंक्शन एफ जेड इक्वल टू यू प्लस आई भी सिंस गिवेन दैट यू एक्स वाई इक्वल टू e to the power x cos y del u by del x equal to e to the power x differentiation of e to the power x is e to the power x cos y del 2 u by del x square equal to again e to the power x cos y number 1 del u by del y differentiation partially with respect to y here e x remain same differentiation of cos y is minus sin y again differentiating del 2 u by del y square equal to minus e to the power x differentiation of sin y is cos y this is number 2 now del 2 u by del x square plus del 2 u by del y square equal to e to the power x cos y plus minus e to the power x cos y equal to 0 implies that del 2 u by del x square plus del 2 u by del y square equal to 0 therefore u satisfies laplace equation equation therefore u x y is harmonic now we have to find the analytic function fz equal to u plus iv since del u by del x del u by del x equal to e to the power x cos y we consider by milne thomson method phi 1 z 0 z 0 we have to find this in place of x this is equal to phi 1 xy in place of x we put z z and in place of y we put 0 e to the power z cos 0 equal to e to the power z now del u by del y equal to minus e to the power x sin y this is phi 2 xy 
therefore phi to z0 equal to in place of x we put z in place of y we put 0 minus e to the power z sin 0 that is minus e to the power z into 0 equal to 0 therefore f dash z equal to phi 1 z 0 minus i phi 2 z 0 this is phi 1 z 0 is e to the power z minus i phi 2 z 0 is 0 equal to e to the power z integrating integrating we get f z equal to f z equal to integration of e to the power z is e to the power z plus c this is the required analytic function now we shall solve problem 2 given that if w equal to f z equal to u plus i v and u minus i v equal to e to the power x cos y minus sin y then to find w in terms of z here given that u minus v equal to e to the power x cos y minus sin y this is number one equation differentiating both sides partially with respect to x del u by del x minus del v by del x here e to the power x partial differentiation is e to the power x and y terms are constants since u y equal to minus v x so here therefore v x equal to minus u y so we put this minus minus plus del u by del x plus del u by del y equal to e to the power x cos y minus sin y again differentiating one partially with respect to y del u by del y minus del v by del y equal to e to the power x differentiation of cos y with respect to y is minus sin y minus differentiation of sin y with respect to y equal to cos y here this is number uh, not number here v y we know that u x equal to v y so we write del v by del y equal to del u by del x this is number equation 3 now adding 2 and 3 2 and 3 here del u by del x and del u by del x cancel remains 2 del u by del y left side right side e to the power x common cos y minus sin y minus sin y minus cos y so this equal to minus 2 e to the power x sin y so 2 to cancel del u by del y equal to minus e to the power x sin y this is phi 2 x y we will use milne thompson method so we consider generally del u by del y equal to phi 2 x y this is number 4 now subtracting 3 from 2 we get left side 2 del u by del x and right side e to the power x common cos y minus sin y plus sin y plus cos y remains 2 e to the power x cos y 2 to cancel so del u by del x equal to e to the power x cos y we consider this phi 1 x y this is phi equation using milne thompson method we write f dash z equal to phi 1 z 0 minus i phi 2 z 0 here phi 1 
z0 in place of x we put z and in place of y we put 0 so e to the power z cos 0 minus i phi 2 z0 here phi 2 z in place of x z in place of y 0 here minus e to the power z sin 0 here you write so this is e to the power z cos 0 is 1 sin 0 is 0 so this part is 0 remains only e to the power z now integrating both sides left side is fz equal to e to the power integration of e to the power z is e to the power z plus constant and this is called w equal to fz equal to e to the power z plus c now we solve problem 3 if u plus v equal to sin 2x by cos h hyperbolic 2y minus cos 2x find analytic function fz equal to u plus iv now solution differentiating partially with respect to x both sides of 1 del u by del x del v plus del v by del o x here u by v first this constant and partial differentiation of sin 2x with respect to x 2 cos 2x minus sin 2x remains constant now partial differentiation of this denominator with respect to x with respect to x differentiation of this is 0 minus minus 2 sin 2x means plus sin 2 sin 2x by cos hyperbolic 2y minus cos 2x whole square since we know that u y equal to minus v x so in place of v x del v by del x we write minus del u by del y and here we take common minus 2 cos square 2 x plus sin square 2 x this is 1 so remains only minus 2 this is equation number 2 now differentiating 1 partially with respect to y del u by del y plus del v by del y equal to sin 2x is free from y so we may take it out and differentiation of 1 by cos hyperbolic 2y minus cos 2x with respect to y we get 1 by cos hyperbolic 2y minus cos 2x whole square multiply 2 sin hyperbolic 2y this is equal to 2 sin 2x sin hyperbolic 2y by cos hyperbolic 2y minus cos 2x whole square here v del v by del y we know that ux equal to vy so in place of del v by del y we may write del u by del x now adding 2 and 3 left side here here we get minus del u by del y here plus del u by del y cancel so remains 2 del u by del x to right side cancel so del u by del x equal to cos 2x plus cos hyperbolic 2y plus sin 2x sin hyperbolic 2y minus 1 by cos hyperbolic 2y minus cos 2x whole square let this is phi 1 xy now subtracting 2 from 3 we get 2 left side 2 del u by del y 2 right side cancel so we write del u by del y equal to sin 2x sin hyperbolic 2y minus cos 2x cos hyperbolic 2y plus 1 by cos hyperbolic 2y minus cos 2x whole square let this is phi 2y now using milne thompson's method 
एफ डैश जेड इक्वल टू फाइव वन जेड जीरो माइनस आई फाइव टू जेड जीरो फाइव वन जेड जीरो इन प्लेस ऑफ एक्स वी पुट जेड इन प्लेस ऑफ वाई वी पुट जीरो हियर जेड हियर जीरो हियर जेड हियर जीरो सो दिस विल बी वन एंड दिस विल बी जीरो ओनली रिमेन्स हियर विल बी जीरो so this will be 1 so we get cos 2z this is 0 minus 1 by 1 minus cos 2x 2z whole square minus i here phi 2z 0 in place of x we put z in place of y 0 this is 0 so this term is 0 y is 0 this is 1 so here minus cos 2z plus 1 minus cos 2z plus 1 so <coughs> taking common cos 2z minus 1 by 1 minus cos 2z whole square here remains 1 here minus minus plus i now integrating both sides of 6 with respect to z here first we arrange this we, if we take minus common 1 minus cos 2z so 1 will be cancel only remains 1 minus cos 2z in denominator so minus 1 plus i here we take common minus 1 and integration of 1 minus cos 2z whole not whole square this 1 minus cos 2z so 1 minus cos 2z is 2 sin square z we take half here minus half 1 plus a uh, minus half, half 1 plus i co cosec square z dz integration of cosec square z is minus cot z minus minus plus half 1 plus i cot z plus c this is the required result now we solve the next problem so that the function fz equal to square root mod of xy is not analytic at the origin although the kuchi riemann equation are satisfied at that point means at the origin now solution let fz equal to uxy plus ivy and fz is given square root mod of xy therefore uxy equal to real part only here uxy equal to square root mod of xy and imaginary part is zero that is bxy equal to 0 now we take partial derivative of u with respect to x at the origin 0 0 we take limit h tends to 0 means here various variation in x h tends to 0 u h 0 minus u 0 0 by h u h 0 here you write we write u h 0 here in place of x h and y equal to 0 that is 0 so 0 minus 0 u 0 0 means 0 into 0 0 by h equal to 0 by something equal to 0 similarly we take differentiating u with respect to y partially at the origin here we take limit k tends to 0 value of x is 0 and variation of y is 0 plus k that means k u 0 k minus u 0 0 by k if we put 
in place of x equal to 0 and y equal to k this will be 0 so here 0 and u 0 0 is 0 0 minus 0 by k equal to 0 0 by something equal to 0 here vxy equal to 0 therefore del v by del x 0 0 equal to 0 and del v by del y at the point 0 0 equal to 0 so we get here del u by del x equal to del v by del y and del u by del y equal to minus del v by del x so del u by del x equal to del v by del y we get here del u by del x is 0 and del v by del y equal to 0 similarly del u by del y equal to minus del v by del x at the origin 0 0 so Kuchi Riemann equations are satisfied are satisfied at the origin now f dash 0 limit z tends to 0 f z minus f 0 by z here here in this place 0 plus z minus f 0 by z that is 0 plus z is z value of fz is square root mod modulus of xy and f0 is 0 as f0 this is the complex number 0 this 0 is 0 plus i0 that is x equal to 0 and y equal to 0 if x equal to 0 and y equal to 0 then f value of f0 is 0 value of z is x plus i y since we may take z tends to 0 in any manner, this is the case of complex variable in Argand plane, the variation of z, we take variation of z in any manner, but in the case of real line, we take only left hand limit and right hand limit. So, <coughs> Here, we take z tends to 0 along y equal to mx, putting y in place of y mx here, so only remain x, so we take limit x tends to 0. Here, m x square means x outside square root m, here x taking x common square root m by 1 plus i m that is equal to square root m by 1 plus i m which depends on m and m is a variable quantity so f dash 0 does not tend to unique limit therefore f dash 0 does not exist thanks for watching my video if you are satisfied with my presentation and contents then please click on like button and do subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.